evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is the Warren Finance Committee uh, for the 8th of May, 2018. And we have two items this evening, which has caused us to con convene again. The first one will be an additional article to the fiscal year that's coming up, 2018-2019, and will be presented at the annual town meeting. And that is to see if the town will vote to appropriate $13,419 from the Recreation Capital Improvement Fund for expenses to purchase and erect a flagpole and have electricity and security lighting installed at the Town of Acton Recreation Fields on Route 109. Uh, we're fortunate to have Mr. Whitman here, who is the chair of that committee. Mr. Whitman, please come up and have a, have a stand at the podium for just a second. There may be some people who have questions, like myself, for example. Uh, when, when we talked, yes. you were mentioning that a flagpole was going to be erected and that there was a shed that was going to be fixed. And I understand that you're not going to put that into this particular article, that you're going to do that yourself or with other funds that are not public funds? Yes, I'm just going to do that. Myself. And then the third thing was um, for the um, installing electricity. Explain what the final outcome with the electricity is concerned, because you, I don't see any monies for uh, big poles for lights or anything of that sort here. We have, uh, it says an underneath the security lighting, uh, electricity installation and security lighting. Purchase of two poles and setting would be $2,000 on, on target. Okay, but security lighting is not what I have in my mind as far as thinking? night light for night games. Is oh, that no, we're not going to be doing night so games. So you're not going to have any huge, big lights for night games? No, <coughs> no. And so this is just for security only? Security only, and unless we run a little bit later. Last year we were using headlights for like the last 10 minutes of practice. Okay, okay, I see. Uh, I have no other questions. Committee, please, uh, can we start at this end? Chris, is it, is it going to be aluminum poles or are they going to be regular standard as people? I think they're going to be like telephone poles, oh, regular standard, standard telephone and poles. And who's actually going to be the supplier, the electricity company? or? Uh, no, I think if they're going to come out of Portland, it would be that on-target company. Okay. And how many actually are you actually looking at putting up? Just two. two. two just two, per period. Yes. Is that going to be up by, like, where, the, where they come in? Or? Well, one will be, like, have you been to the right? Oh, yeah. Okay. Where the uh, visited dugout is along Route 109. Mm -hmm. One kind of in the middle, yep. and then one over near the basketball court. <coughs> okay. So one, one light would be facing this way, that would, you know, so they'd be kind of crisscrossing. All right. Now, having late games and stuff, it doesn't cause an issue when they come off, because they used to have staging there at one time, so it's yeah. not, so that when people leave, they're not going to trip, fall, or whatever. Right. Like that. Okay. Thanks. No, it's pretty clear. We've kept it clean. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Mr. Waterhouse? I have no questions. Mr. Gore. Has there been an issue down there with security, Chris? Uh, no, only. Problems? No, it's, uh, I found last year one time the tree company decided to open up the shed that was, it needed to be repaired and fixed it since then, but they were out there playing soccer probably on their lunch break and didn't put anything away. Uh -huh. So. Uh, do we store equipment down there? Yeah, we store soccer balls, baseball bats, depending on the season. Ms. Bean, do you have any no, questions? No, no. I have one other. I assume that the electric bill on a monthly basis will be paid for by the town and their electric bill. Is that correct? Yeah, and uh, based on typically, I mean, if the lights, the lights probably aren't going to use more than fifty dollars a month. That's going to that will have to directly come out of the the recreation department budget once we, you know, get that going. But. Were you aware of that, Mr. Whitman? Yeah. Okay, okay. So, and again, if they're not going to be those huge high voltage, uh, like high wattage seen. lights for night games, yeah. then it's going to be a minimal amount of electricity that's going to be utilized, I assume. Yes. They're LEDs, sorry, yeah. Beg pardon? They're LEDs. So they're yeah, they're LEDs, LEDs to, 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 to boot. Uh, any other questions of Mr. Whitman? Um. Yes, Mr. <laughs> Gore. I had one in my mind. <laughs> oh. <laughs> 
you dropped it. You had, da, 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 da. You had a senior <laughs> moment, did you? Are they? Are are, are the lights? Are the lights going to be on all night long, or are they no. just no? And who's going to manage those? And also, who's going to take care of the flag? And and uh, well, the flag will have one of those uh, solar lights up top on the post, mm -hmm. so constantly it will come on with the sun when the sun goes off and stuff like that. Okay, so it but it will be on every night. Is that the idea? Yes. Unless I go up and take the flags down every <laughs> night and every morning. And so every so morning. the flag would be up like all winter and and, and uh, well, I if mean, it was big storms and stuff, I would you know obviously take them down so it's not a, a loss to the town budget. Or and do we budget. have a flag price in this as well? Yeah, there is a flag. Yes. Price. There is a flag yeah. price. Yeah. Yeah. I I was just. I see it. I'm, okay. so, so these these are essentially a permanent fixture, and they're going to be there doing their thing. 24/7, basically, regardless of whether the field's being used or not. Is yes, correct. Okay. Do you foresee any other expenditures that are going to be coming out of your capital improvement fund for this coming fiscal year? <clears throat> not this, not this year. Not for this coming year, starting July through June of of, of uh, 2019. Yeah. You don't foresee any other. No, we had do have things, but we haven't. Last meeting, only one of us, two of us showed up, so we really didn't get to discuss much. No, I'm just wondering whether or not you're going to be coming back. And no, I won't come back this year. <laughs> I'll try not, not that to. We don't like you. Okay. <laughs> how's the how's the field now? Is it in pretty good condition? Because a few years ago we had some had some divots in it. Too. Yeah, uh, I did put a call into Brian Brian that does our field maintenance. He hasn't called me back. There are some low spots in the soccer field. But we've uh, corrected the issues on the ball field itself, had a York break, and the school is actually helping because they're using it for their softball team this year. Oh, you are. So I oh, did, a, did a, a little trade-off. Yeah, that's a good combination. Yeah. All right. Okay, now, sir. Question? Yes, yes please. Um, are the lights going to be on a timer? Uh, <coughs> we didn't discuss that, or <coughs> could, uh, we could add that in, and then, uh, but I don't think they should be if I'm... The layout there at the last practice, I just shut them off with a few breaker box. Or we so, could put a So the on. security lights themselves are not going to be burning all night. No, they're not. They won't be on. The only light that's going to be on is the light on the flagpole. Right. Okay. Yeah, because I don't want to bother the No other questions. <laughs> I, did, I remember the question. Okay, I had. go oh, ahead. <laughs> uh, we, we don't have any electricity installed there now, so this is a it's new great. installation coming in mm -hmm. off the... Okay. So it's a, it's a, okay, all right. So, uh, and again, to reiterate, the electric bill every month is going to be paid out of your regular operating expenses and not, not uh, accruing any, any burden to this uh, uh, improvement fund. Is that correct? Correct. Okay. I don't have any other comments or questions. May I hear a motion, please? Make a motion. We accept the Article 77 as written. Second. It's been moved and seconded that Article 77 be approved as an additional article and that we approve it as written. Any other comments or questions? Recommend adoption of the article as written. Okay. All right. All in favor signify by raising your hand. Okay. Approved. Five to nothing. Thank you, Mr. Whitman. Right, thank we you. hope we don't see you Thanks, again. <laughs> thank you very much, sir. We appreciate your time and your effort for the record committee. Thanks, Michelle. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the next is uh, for a special meeting uh, to uh, hereby request to notify and warn. Blah, blah, blah. The meeting is to see if the town will vote to ratify the overdraft and the winter maintenance road accounts in the amount of $108,074.82. Now, before we go any further, I wanted to clarify, and maybe Ms. Romney, you would help us clarify again. This is going to be the total, however, the monies extra that are not yet in the budget is a small amount, and please elucidate for us. Sure. Um, as we've discussed before, um, main statute allows for uh, the roads to overdraft for winter or summer maintenance by 15%. Um, other than general assistance, no other departments are allowed that. Um, our 15% um, is 104949 
Um, and so obviously we are uh, just shy of that currently by $705.92. We did receive another SALT bill um, for $3,800. Uh, I can't pay it until um, the town people allow me to. Um, so the, what, you were, what we're basically asked to, to look at is an additional three thousand eight hundred dollars. The one hundred four nine forty nine came out of which line item? No, we still have to do. We still have to appropriate the whole hundred and eight thousand. Right. Yes. So, okay. so the, so it, it's it's come out of an overdraft right now, and typically, um, the the vote is is. I mean, we we have we have we have paid it, and um, it's allowable by law. Basically, what the vote is to decide where we're paying for it. Are we going to appropriate more money? Are we going to raise it? Um, have a, another tax bill, which I don't believe that you know the townspeople will be very happy about. Or typically, what we do is we we ratify it from the undesignated fund. Um, so, what we're basically asking is um, for an extra three thousand one hundred and twenty-five dollars and eighty-five cents over that fifteen percent is what it comes down to, which. Mm -hmm brings our overdraft to, I believe it was 15.45% rather than 15%. Okay. Mr. Chairman, can I make yeah. a motion, please? Uh, and just a second. I'd like to make sure that for, go ahead and make a motion, whatever you're going to do, and then we'll discuss it. Soon. I'd like to make a motion that we recommend that the town appropriate $108,074.82 uh, from the undesignated fund balance to cover the overdraft um, for winter maintenance, for the winter maintenance of uh, roads account. I second. I begrudgingly. Actually, uh, second by Mr. Waterhouse. Now we're open to discussion, discussion. again. Uh, Ms. Misha, Well, what I was wondering, and I know the selectmen were thinking probably the same thing. I'm not trying to speak for you, so don't, don't get me wrong. I, earlier when we were here, it seems to be a constant thing, the overdraft. Is there, is there a real reason other than you know what I'm saying it's just uh, hard it's, we, we, we budget I mean, up more to stop the overdraft but right yeah, and I mean we've really um, I, I don't know if you have the the history there for the the overdraft history do you have that in, um, yes. it was part of the some papers that I emailed yesterday uh, <coughs> I mean we go from you know a hundred and three thousand from Five years ago, and we're at 108,000 today. Mm -hmm. uh, could we increase the budget so that this doesn't happen? We could. However, then that allows us for an even higher 15% overdraft. Right. And I think that that's what has kept the the both the road commissioners and the selectmen from increasing that budget too much. Yes, we could increase it to you know be more on point to what we've averaged out over the past five years, um, but then it does allow for a much larger overdraft. I guess my hard time is it seems like we have a special election every time for this, and it seems, and that, that does add to money. I mean, obviously, it, it Jen has to get everybody ready and do their, do their thing, too, even though it may, I don't know how much it costs. It might be minimal, it might be a lot, but it seems like that adds to it also, and it just gets to be frustrating. I don't know how everybody else feels. I mean, it's just a little bit... You know, every every year it seems to be the same thing. We go into it, we have to have a special election. Go into it and have to have a special election. Special time. We're not. Oh yeah, well, you know, we're not. We're not saving <laughs> no matter what we do. Right. I, I mean, the expenses are going to be what they are. Mm. Um, I mean, yeah, we got to pay it, the bill. In comparison numbers, we wouldn't have to have this special. We would have been able to just leave it for the June town meeting. Um, if it wasn't for this last salt bill, mm -hmm. uh, I want to say. One of the last times we met, we were expecting a Thursday storm, which never came, right. which is why the salt was ordered. They were all out after the Monday storm. Um, they ordered two loads of salt for Thursday, and that storm missed us, thankfully. Now, what would happen if you held back and paid that on July 1st? I'd have a $50 late fee. Was it worth the $50 late fee compared to what we have to do? It, it, it could be, um, but then, I mean... These are people that we order with all the time, and if you don't, mm. you know, you don't want to create it's not a good right. No, I not don't want to create a problem, practice. but right. it's and like then, anything you know, I just, else. And then, I mean, the town does have a credit, you know, mm. and and if we go over 30 days on on the bill, then 
they're probably going to hit our credit, you know, and that will affect us when it comes time for loans um, and our percentage rates, you know, seeing that mark on there. So, I mean. I mean, it's a pro-con either way. Is exactly. Is it worth the hit? versus the special. No, it's not. Mr. Romney, I have two additional questions. Are we sure this is going to be the last bill? This is the last bill. We're sure of that. Yes. No, no other one is coming. Yes. Peaches are week. blooming, Will. Peaches yes. are blooming. Okay. <laughs> we better be our last bill. Number yes. one. Number two, just tell me a little bit about the, the sand salt stockpile uh, is joint. Mm -hmm. District one and district two? Correct. Is there anything that you found from the from the, uh, the bills coming in, why there's a $10,000 difference between District 1 and District 2. As far it as was the same their, snowstorm. as far as their expenses for plowing? And snowstorm, uh, yeah. Um, it, no significant difference. I mean, the roads are different on each side of town. Um, some of them take a little more time than others. Um, and, and we're on a lot of these storms that type of storms we're getting now, it's really, really marginal. I mean, you drive down to the foot of the lake, <clears throat> it's be raining down there, you drive right. up to this right. end of town Understand. and it's snowing, so Understand. it changes dramatically. Exactly. The, I don't, have, I don't have a good uh, grasp in terms of past when these overages occur. Uh, typically, is there a difference between one and two? Typically, District 2 is a little higher than District 1. Uh -huh. uh, okay. Okay. Not knowing every road on the route and, you know, the different conditions there, I, I couldn't really tell so you. So at least it's consistent. Yes. Okay. Yeah. And um, we did, this last June town meeting, we did uh, vote for overtime for over eight hours work when plowing. Um, the overtime cost us uh, a little over $5,000 this year. Um, that would have also kept us from this this extra meeting. Um, is that per side or just for total. both combinations? But now that is hopefully being corrected by the by the present by the present article in terms of payment correct. based on your personnel policy. Correct. Is that correct? And you know we did get a legal opinion that that probably shouldn't have happened on town floor. Yes. Um, because it was yes. a significant. Yes, exactly. Yes. Okay. Any other questions of Ms. Romney? No, I just think it would be appropriate to mention that we don't actually have a special town meeting. Uh, we had one in, in 214, and we're having one this year. But in between, there were articles included in the June warrant. Correct. But they did not require a special town meeting, so it's not occurring. It's not occurring all that often. Yeah. Yeah. The other thing was when we built the fire station, we were five thousand seven hundred dollars over budget, and I just called the vendor and said, "We don't have the money. Can you wait till next year?" <laughs> he said, "Sure." <laughs> but any that further, was a few years ago. Any further questions yeah. or comments? Oh. Ms. Rubby, thank you so much. I appreciate Thanks, all the oh, questions. So. Uh, questions uh, being called. There's no other discussion. All in favor of approving this as written? Um, no, that's not what I said. Uh, mm -hmm. what? what did I say? I recommended, I, I said, Wharton Finance recommends the appropriation of 108074.82. Okay. Okay. Uh, to, uh, from the